Hey guys, before video starts, um, you might remember this dude. Let me scroll up so you guys understand whose channel this is. Yeah, that's right. So I didn't really think. This is a little update though before we go on. But um, yeah. So I didn't really think this guy would do anything. I had some little bit of concerns about this dude. And guess what? I don't even know if you've seen my video, but you notice that the abomination. Or the joke I would like to say because it's pretty funny of this. This is now his last video he made. Guess what's missing? That's right, two videos. You don't know what I'm talking about. Go on the up. We found them boys update on it, and you would understand. And the real RPG is officially banned in his server. Yep. And yeah, that's pretty sad. He told people that. We were the problem, not anyone else. And saying that we were the one who takes it too far. Well, I guess you can congratulate yourself, make a douche. Yeah, just hashtag make a douche and hash and we're gonna put in probably a hashtag later in the video for this person coming up for the people who abuse power. So let's just start this one video. What is up guys? Just even 97 here and before this video starts, I just want to say, Oh man, okay, so I can actually relate to this person, and I really hope for her for the best. And let's just start this video. Gee, oh. Quiet, 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 hey, leave me alone! Hey, yeah, quiet, 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 yeah, leave me alone! Alright, so, today, I, I don't even know who abused power. I can understand this person's point of view, but like, oh man, I, I just, I just can't right now. So, apparently, I was going to do something like this, but I, just, I had to do so much editing, so this is a little late, but still, this woman, she, she got forced to be in a hospital. Now, you sound, you might think of like, oh, well, that why? That doesn't make any sense. Why are you feeling bad? Well, when, when you hear the article from me, you, you would understand like, and the worst part of all is this is from her daughter that's forcing her to go to the hospital, which is a little bit more bad because the daughter should have nothing involved with whatever she has. It's basically not even nothing to be worried about in the first place. But before I even start, um, I know I did an article just like it and I had to like censor myself for some reason. I don't know why I try to act like that because... For some reason, I'm getting demonetized in my, on the series. Even my recent one with the people who abuse power for the minus world. For some reason, it's saying it, by manual review, not suitable for most advertisers. When literally almost like more than half of the video is just me trying to figure out to go how to get back on their Discord. So I don't know what's up with that. So I'm not gonna take. I'm not gonna censor my voice just reading the article. I know I had to do that in number six, so you probably heard me, like, literally go dead silent. I know I did it literally in, like, 30 seconds as well in the intro, just because I, I can understand how that was, like, super hate, because I was going hardcore on her, and, like, it's not that I feel she had, like, she was really, shouldn't, like, deserve that. I mean, she wanted to eat babies for Christ's sake. She does deserve that, but at the same time, I, I want revenue, so, you know. This actually is weird, too. I thought this was also, too, a joke, because what what they gave her a meme, and the name they gave her is a meme, and I'm not joking either. I don't know why, so I was, I was wondering if this was, like, a meme or something, because it doesn't make any sense why... They call her a meme, like, at least, like, give her a fake name, like, Jasmine or something like that. But, like, meme, eh. This is, she is a New Hampshire woman, and I guess that's a family nickname, apparently. So, I don't know why that's, why say that. You should just say your name, because it wouldn't seem like it's a joke, because I, I don't want this to be a joke. But, like, just because you said meme, it's making it seem like a joke. She ended up spending 20 days locked inside a wing of the emergency department at St. Joseph's Hospital. What happened was, she is 61 years old, and she works 
for an organization that helps people with disabilities. And what happened was she was suffering from severe stress and anxiety. We all have that. But it's happened like in September 2018. I don't know if that happened in that. And now she's getting mad at it now because it says October 22, 2019 when this article came out. So she says it was just the perfect storm of stressors. I so I taken the day off and I was recovering at home. So right there you can already tell that she's not like being pissed at everyone or she's killing herself or like anything like that. She took a day off and she's recovering. She's just like everyone ha everyone has stress and anxiety. That's why they all have days off and I can understand. So later her adult daughter arrived at her house i was like confused at this part because i don't know why they had to include adult daughter but you know i don't know why they just say a daughter not like adult daughter because if she's already 61 why would you say like she she wouldn't even have a six-year-old kid it would just make sense that way like there there's no way that would happen but she was alarmed by i'm not even gonna say memes at all i'm just gonna say her because I, I, I don't want this to be a joke and people are just going to be laughing at this. But she was alarmed by her condition. She later dis described it as a phys... Whatever, some break. You can see it right there. I actually looked this up. It's the and So it basically says the terms which means a physical break with reality means losing contact with reality. Such as hearing, seeing, tasting, smelling, or feeling something that has no... Ex external correlate i.e what i don't even know what they're trying to say or believing something to be true that is false fixed and fantastic i like the ies i don't know what the hell i know what delusion is i just didn't know the h word or being unable and said dot 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 so i already i can understand so it's basically like an outcast it's just they're not in society and they don't feel you know anything the 61 year old woman said she didn't think she needed any help they argued, then her daughter called 911. So, I don't know how this turned out to be, like, some, it was so weird. Like, I was trying to understand, like, what, did she say something? Because, like, the argument, it didn't say, like, anything to do with, like, bad-mouthing. And she, like, she only took a day off, and all of a sudden, like, I can understand the daughter is worried. But she has to understand, too, that she took a day off. She's not, like... She's not anything that's bad. We all have stress and anxiety. It's a, that's a common thing in human society. So she just needs to just calm down. So anyways, when local police arrived, they found Meme uh, agitated and erratic, according to a police report. They told her she had to go to the hospital, but she refused. Like... I would understand that too. Like you don't force people to go to the hospital when you don't want to. Like I know in some circumstances, like say if you have like a broken arm and you don't want to go, well, you're going to have to go. But like there's no reason for her to go to the doctors at all. And if she, if it was really something that bad, then why was she like taking, she literally told them she was going to take a day off. She did not take more than one day off did not go to the hospital because it's not a like to the point where she wants to die and like have all this depression all that that's basically what the daughter is saying that's what that's what she's doing she's not losing contact re with reality because she she works with disability people and that's a big impact on working with reality and I know that because sometimes for like community service, we have to do that for school. And I go with the disability kids and we go off to like other places and they have to learn like, say, for instance, they go to a, to a store and they got to like learn how to work with money. That's basically you're in you're not losing contact in reality if you work like that because you're still teaching them about reality. So I don't I don't understand that. She and she quotes, I definitely did not need to go. I did not want to go. So finally, according to the police report, an emergency medical technician instructed police officers to hold down her arms. And this is where I was pissed off just looking at this. 
Cause the, like you shouldn't even put your hands on her. Like she said no. Like she's not the one who called nine one one. There there's no violence at all. Like the, you can't instruct. You can't force someone to go somewhere. That's like saying to. That's like a policeman saying to a kid they have to come go in that stranger's car. Like no, that that's a false reality right there. Now she quotes. And the next thing I know. They're stabbing me in the arms with some kind of sedative. I I think that's um a taser or something. I I'm guessing it's that because the next one says stab stab. Next thing, I'm, I'm waking up at Saint Joseph's Hospital. So it's probably is like one of those stereo things where they make you like they make you pass out. But then this is the craziest part that I saw. Like I was saying in the before it says. She woke in the emergency room of St. Joseph's Hospital in Nanshire NH, which is New Hampshire. She wanted to leave, but the hospital wouldn't let her because her daughter in, and an emergency room doctor filled out legal pe papers that, sh that said her, she was a danger to herself or others because of mental illness. And at that point, I was like, that that is bullshit because she didn't even attack anyone she was the one the the daughter actually not her the, the daughter was the one who did all this she literally forced her own mother mind you to go to the hospital she called 911 for like no reason and she's stuck in the hospital and she can't leave and th this is the craziest thing that i i just can't understand like their papers i get it but doesn't she have to sign the papers if she wants to go? I mean, it's her, if it's her life at risk, wouldn't you be able to choose what path you want to take in your life and not go, like, with someone else's ideas? Like, I think that would make sense. But there, you'll say, like, well, that's because she has a mental illness, but she doesn't really have a mental illness. And in fact, there's no nothing that shows her... She has a mental illness. This is basically a stereotype of like old people you're trying to say like, well, I guess we can do this to her daughter now. Like all jokes aside, I can understand where the daughter is coming from. She's worried about her mom, but at the same time, there's, you can't do this at all, especially to your like adults or even elderly people at least and your parents as well. So that's two strikes and you're out. For three strikes and you're probably gonna have to find those papers to not be mother and daughter anymore because you pro you guys are like oof so after one of those pay uh, penitentions is filled according to new hampshire law patients like her should be transferred out of the er to a physic physiatrist care facility that is um the mental is institution which is like so the just, just no they should also get a hearing before a judge within three days that would be her chance to argue that she should not be held against her will but there's a problem the facilities in new hampshire are all full on any given day there is a wait list of around 35 people and those hearing at which meme could argue to a judge and that she should be allowed to go home those are held only at those facilities so i, I just realized that meme but who cares but that's even more worse like she could actually argue in in the court like that way she actually can like if she's a mental illness then I, that means she can actually say her speech and really frequently and well and then like th then they would realize that the daughter was just overprotective but it's sad because it, it, since it's all full she can't do it anyways but like those facilities really suck they forced me to go when i was in seventh grade and i fucking hated the school ever since and that's a really good like point of how they don't know how to do nothing at the schools or anything basically that's like the same thing here and it's pretty sad but i got there's a result she can't can't leave the er and she couldn't get a hearing not until a bed opened up so that's even more worse and she quoted right here and they won't even tell you what number you are you ask every day what number am i oh we don't know like i would understand that point of view because like if you think about it the people like there since there's a lot of patients coming in like especially if you think criminals too like 
you just ask like how many criminals are in there like they won't know because like every single day there's another person getting in trouble and going to jail and there's like people that can either die or just get out of jail so it's like i can understand that but like on the other hand if she wants to leave you should let her leave especially when she didn't even have a right to even fill out papers for her own self which is even worse the legally of the situation now being departed in federal court the question is not whenever she should have been forced to come to this emergency department in the first place it's whenever her rights were violated once she got there she ended up spending 20 days locked inside a wing of saint jo joseph's emergency department she says that her Access to visitors, the telephone, and the bathroom were limited, and that hospital staff concerned about her committing suicide restricted what objects she could have. Wait, what? Okay, I can understand. Maybe the bathroom, because, I mean, let's face it, there's water in there. Some people can literally just go put, put their head in the toilet, and they drown themselves. But the telephone... Uh, it's got to all depend on a telephone. Like, if there's a wire, then, yeah, it makes sense. But if it's, like, a wireless, then I don't see what's the problem. And visitors is even worse because how is the visitors going to do something like that? Like, they, they can't... She can't kill herself with the visitors. That just doesn't make any sense. It, it's just so sad because they think... They, they had this lie and like the only now she probably has more stress and anxiety because of this and she probably uh, if she doesn't even talk to her child again i kind of understand why because like they forced her to get in here she can't even leave which is like just i can't it just make it just makes me feel bad because like i know her situation like i didn't spend 20 days though but i like I know where she's coming from because I had I had the same thing happen to me like twice but at least the second time I can a little bit understand but like the first time ne not even understanding because just because you think people are mentally ill that doesn't mean anything because they could literally be healthier than you and j no just I just can't right now man the spokesperson for St. Joseph's Hospital wouldn't com comment on the specifics of her experience, but in a legal filling, the hospital de denies any ag allegations that the conditions of her stay were poor. After 20 days in the ER, she was finally transferred to a psychiatric care facility. Two days later, she received her hearing and she quoted, you get get your husband to bring you your finest dress and you go in there you get a lawyer who's assigned to you in the end meme didn't even have to argue that she should be released her daughter who have written the the papers to involuntarily commit her didn't not, didn't show for the hearing she was released for the first time in more than three weeks she got to go home oh man that happy ending there but it's even worse that her daughter didn't even go to the hearing. So she literally knows her mistake and she's like, I don't want to get involved. So if you knew your mistake, then why did you not show up? There's another part where it's like nationwide problem, which I can understand it is a problem. I don't want to read that. I just wanted to read the part about her. So all my, all my, um... To, I'm just going to call her meme now because I just wanted to be, be serious in the article. I didn't want to do a lot of jokes because this actually, I can, I can feel her pain. I know how she feels and it's just, I just can't, I thought it was just like me or something, but now I know it can happen to other people as well, which is even bad. Like, I, I just can't believe that anymore. Just human society is gone. All, I, I hope meme... I hope your daughter, like, you had to talk about this or something, because, like, man, I, I can't believe she did that to you, like, I would understand, like, once you, if you read, like, half of it, you're like, oh, okay, she just wanted to, like, understand stuff, like, that's what I did, I actually just, we, before I did a video, I just read the first part, and I just decided, you know what, since this video is a little bit, I want to make this video a little bit longer, because, like, this is very serious, 
I, I let me do the other part. And good thing I did because, dude, she didn't even she literally did all that and she didn't have the balls to come up and actually pick up her claim that that is even like really sad thank you guys for watching click that like button if you enjoyed this and the girl meme if you want to send her good vibes or something like that hope that she's okay well she they said she is okay but hope she's still okay and her daughter isn't doing nothing bad and hope her stress and anxiety is going up because this article just she just sounds like a nice lady. I don't know why you gotta be rude to that. Dislike it if you're a dick and you hate the both. You think this was really funny and you think this was actually appropriate because then I would really destroy you. Like, I will fucking hack into your place. I will, I will go find out what when you're watching this video and you dislike. I'm gonna hack into your computer. I'm gonna find out where you live and we're gonna see if it's gonna be funny when I do that to you because it is not fucking funny and I'm dead serious when i say that shit subscribe to this channel if you haven't already i am jesse 97 not abusing my power like all these other people i i guess you can say it's not really the hospital people but at least they should be able to do something about that so whatever legal documents who cares i'm just done i just can't believe i this actually popped up on my phone and just it happened to another person i just i just really thought that would not happen and i'm just gonna brainwash my head and just go and play oh man i don't even want to say a video game just peace out